Takashi Kote Gawa was born on March 5, 1978, in Ichikawa, Chiba, Japan. He started trading stocks on the Tokyo Stock Exchange in the bear market of 2000 with about $16,000 from his own bedroom. Reached $1 million in two years with the contrarian short-term trade strategy. After that, Kote Gawa reached $11 million in 2004 with the long-term swing trend follow strategy. Takashi is also known in the Japanese trading community by his chatroom username BNF. The year was 2005, and Takashi Kote Gawa was about to close the most successful deal of his life. The Japanese company JCOM Holdings had just had its IPO, and Takashi Kote Gawa was glued to the barricade of monitors in his bedroom all day. That's how he noticed that a trader at the big firm Mizuho Securities had placed a sell order for 610,000 JCOM Holdings shares at 1 yen. However, this was grave a mistake on the Mizuho Securities trader's side, as this man originally wanted to sell one share for 610,000 yen. This huge mistake then sent the company's stock into a steep decline. At the bottom, Kote Gawa then bought 7,100 shares, and on the subsequent return above, he made $17 million on this trade in a single day. This trade earned Kote Gawa the nickname, J Com Man. As you can see, the profit of such astronomical proportions as this one could only be generated thanks to enormous luck on Kotegawa's side, and huge mistake on the side of the seller who is Mizuho Securities, as today similar mistakes are no longer possible. Despite being a multi-millionaire, he stays humble. He doesn't buy fancy cars or eat lavish meals. He rides a bike and likes to eat ramen. One thing he did splurge on, a top-floor apartment that he bought for roughly $3.65 million. After he became famous, he did not like the attention given to him. He continued to trade in the bull market until 2008. In 2008, with the financial crisis, he started to implement the strategy he used in the bear market in 2000, and then for the first time left the Tokyo Stock Exchange and traded in the U.S. market. But his big mistake was that he invested $6.5 million in Lehman Brothers stock and wasted $6.5 million overnight when Lehman Brothers went bankrupt. Afterwards, he returned to the Japanese market, and although he was at a loss at first, he rearranged his strategy according to the conditions of the day and made a serious profit by removing the loss he had made in Lehman stock. Eight years later, its total profit had reached $153 million. In the following years, he started to buy commercial real estate buildings. Kote Gawa began trading on the Japanese stock market around 2001, the time of the dot-com bubble burst that sent virtually the entire world into a bear market. So it's no wonder that he often speculated just on a drop in stock prices. The bear market in question lasted until 2003, and for a better idea is shown by the red arrow on the long-term chart of the Nikkei 225 index below. Speculators on market declines were thus in a harvest in Japan at the time, and Kote Gawa took full advantage of this. He himself insisted that it is easier to make money during bear markets and then look for short-term pullbacks in stocks. Among the technical indicators, he used Bollinger Bands, RSI, and then made the actual decision to enter the position according to the 25-day moving average. However, that alone is not enough to enter the trade. Kote Gawa would also watch other technical indicators such as the RSI oscillator to determine oversoldness and trend. Allegedly, he would buy stocks that were at least 20% below the 25-day moving average, and then profit from the short-term growth of the stock. He then closed the trades during the same session, or held part of the position overnight. But in the bear market of 2001, Kodegawa realized that different sectors have different points of rebound, or the divergent percentages were different per sector. For example, for emerging stocks, the range of deviation from the 25-day moving average was between 28 and 60 percent. For IT stocks, the ranges were 25 to 45 percent. After this discernment, he only focused on the extreme deviations, and he made the right call. Here is BNF's own words. When going for a short-term rebound, what you hold focus on is the moving average divergence. 
In the bear market of 2001, I would only look at stocks deviating at least 20% off 25-day moving average, with 35% being a somewhat safe level to buy. The price would then surge, and I'd close the trade at a profit. When the bull market started, this strategy would not work, and he had to develop a new strategy. BNF found a new clever way to ride the bull run. When the market's strong, core companies tend to rise with the index. What BNF found is the core companies don't go up at exactly the same time. There are always laggers, and that's where he buys. He would ride these laggers up and then sell after a few days or weeks. This was his bull market strategy. Thanks for watching guys, I hope that this story has opened your horizons. I would appreciate if you follow I have gainers on YouTube, Telegram, and other social media accounts that I left in the description.